Hey everybody, check out the disclaimer. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help me out with the algorithms. And remember that my Patreon supporters got to see preview images, work in progress shots, and high resolution images of the completed figure. If you want to join them, the link is right below. Hello my friends, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with the next part of Sad AM Fan FF's commission. Deke styled Sally, that is as close as I could get her from the original Sad AM cartoon appearance. I have made many Sallys over the year, but this particular version of Sally I've only really made once before, and that was for a wedding cake topper. But uh, this time we're going to do it again. Uh, but before we do this, um, has there ever actually been official merchandise of Princess Sally? The answer might surprise you. You see, back in the 90s, there was a theme park called Sega World. Apparently it was in Australia. I really wish that I would have had the opportunity to go there, but I was about 8 or 9, so... You know, like, trips to Australia weren't really on my repertoire back then. Um, so, be because this was a theme park, a big old Disney-style thing, it had tons of merchandise. And because the Saturday morning cartoon was the hot new thing in the Sonic franchise at the time, she did feature in a lot of the merchandise that this park sold. Um, I believe this jean jacket came from there. I would love to have this jacket. Like, um, it may just have a tiny little patch, and if you look, you may see that Sally has white hands, so it's implied that they thought that she wore gloves like Sonic and Tails, but I don't care. That's awesome. I really wish I had that jacket. They also have these nifty little, um, uh, bubble bath dispensers. Uh, I think these are supposed to be tied more into the video game, as you see one here with Knuckles, and Knuckles did not feature in the Sonic cartoon. He actually wasn't in a cartoon until Sonic Underground came out, and that was in the late 90s. Uh, 1999 to be specific. Um, but hey, look at this! One of the bubble, one of the bubble bath bottles was a Princess Sally themed one, so that is a thing. They also had things like these hilarious uh, hand puppets, and a bunch of plushies and other merchandise. Uh, look at that Sally cup. I'd actually like that Sally cup too. That's that's actually a really cool cup. Um, I do believe that these plushies were something that you would win as prizes when you play games, of course. But um, the plushies are probably the low priority thing, because, you know, there's like early 90s plushies of Princess Sally. They don't really look that great. Uh, what really probably caught your eye a few seconds ago was this thing. That's right, the Princess Sally Bendy action figure. So yes, there was indeed an actual factual Princess Sally. As far as I'm aware, Sega World was the only place you could get her. I have no idea why she remained exclusive to a little theme park, or even if she was, but I never saw any of this stuff in retail. I do believe she might have been part of a toy line that was planned to tie in with the Sonic cartoons. Um, as far as I'm aware, these never saw the light of production. These might just be prototype shots. And that would explain why the Dr. Robotnik figure looks more like the Adventures Robotnik. Because technically speaking, the Adventures cartoon did come first, so they probably based the merchandise off of that cartoon, not knowing that it would be the Saturday morning cartoon that would become much more popular. It's funny that now that Jack's Pacific has acquired the Sonic the Hedgehog toy license, now that Tomy dropped it, uh, the first action figures they're put out are bendies, much like that. Um, these aren't the first time Sonic has made bendies. In fact, I think it might actually be the third or fourth time at least. But, um, uh, I was, like, they are four inches tall, which means that it is half of what I ever asked for. I've always wanted a Sonic figure that was four inches tall so I could stand it next to my Mario figure, so this is kind of what I wanted. But I'm not really a bendy collector. I hear that these things are beginning to pop up at Target, so, uh, if, if they float your boat, go get them. Um, I might at least get the Sonic one just for the sake of, um, you know, having him next to my Mario, but I really hope that Jack Pacific goes on to make World of Nintendo style actual action figures eventually, because I know that not having to worry about joints or anything, the sculpt is a lot better, but, you know, like, it's only a wire surrounded by rubber, so the articulation is just, you know, it's not that great. 
Plus, uh, it's actually easy to break the wire inside of a bendy, turning it into a, a little rubber statue that stands in a T-pose. So, um, what really caught my attention was when I was uh, searching for images of these figures, I found this. I have no idea what this is. Is it actually a Sonic action figure with swappable hands and what looks like a Build-A-Figure part? Is this, is this like a, pro a, a teaser image of some prototype packaging? Like... All of my yes, if this is true, but like it was just like a background image and some kind of weird post, and there was like a whole bunch of people saying yes, yes, yes. Like, I have no idea if this is actual official prototype packaging, but um, yes, I want this Sonic action figure. Like, if it's if it's an actual jointed figure, like if that's a build a figure part, then this must be an actual action figure, not a bendy. So, yes, give me that. When can I get that? Alright everybody, I've kept you waiting long enough. This is actually a custom video, not a retrospective, so let's get to making the toy. Uh, the first time I made a Deke-style Princess Sally figure, I used the damaged Amy torso with a new neck peg that I had carved, and um, a blaze the cat head. But this time, I'm using a much more standard female um, uh, Sonic character model with a silver torso and waves head. Although the arms and legs do come from a, a classic Tails figure because, you know, it's a classic figure, technically speaking. Uh, so as usual, you start with Wave's head, um, carving away her big uh, head feathers and taking off her bandana and shades, and then sculpting on the elements that make it into Princess Sally's. This actually reminds me of that Alicia nut figure, which was like the alternate universe Sally that I made a while ago, um, in that, you know, it's all just being built as uh, Princess Sally's rounder head kind of thing going on. Um, once, once this part stabilizes, that's when I make the hair because Princess Sally has really big hair that nestles in between her ears and you know this kind of requires quite a bit of molding effort so you don't want to mess up the cheeks when you're trying to make her hair um, and that's uh, that's from all all sides uh, you know pr pretty standard giant rocker pompadour thing that she's got going on and a nice little pink job I was actually hesitating to paint her for a couple of days because you know this light shade of brown is a pain to paint because it takes so many coats uh, as usual, with a female body, I carved down that silver torso into a curvier, more feminine physique, and then um, put on the rather modest bust line that Princess Sally had in the deep cartoon, along with a big fluffy chipmunk tail. Um, all said and done, uh, the figure just required a bit more painting. You know, it's funny, like, um, the light brown of her lighter brown fur... It's actually the same I use for skin tone. Like, I tried to make um, an actual lighter brown, but it was almost invisible against a regular brown. So I'm like, huh, I guess I guess color is all related to context. Uh, so with the hands, I just outright cut off Tails' glove cuffs and then tried sculpting the hands directly onto the arms. Um, I think this gives me a little bit less of a Popeye arm look than my first uh, Sad AM style Sally had, but there is still a little bit of a Popeye thing just for the fact that there's no real wrist there. It's just the way that Sonic characters' arms are designed. There's no wrist there because they always expect them to be covered by a glove cuff. Um, so, I was originally going to use Tails' feet, but they're just too big for the style. Um, in, back in the Sad AM days, there was no rule that Sonic characters had gigantic Mickey Mouse feet, so the one thing that was different from the classic cartoon style was that they had smaller feet that seemed more in proportion to a human body. So, long story short, the feet are scratch built. So that's all the parts, let's put it together and take a look at the Deke style Princess Sally figure. Here she is! Uh, her posture looks a tiny bit off. Um, I'm not sure if that's the neck or the way I made the feet that has her cocking her head like that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, as long as... You, you can you can fiddle it around. Like, turn her head so she's looking over her shoulder and you don't even notice. Uh, but yeah! That's a little tiny Deke-style prin uh, Princess Sally figure. She's, uh... She's the same size as Tomy's classic Sonic figure, which is, uh... What is that? Two and a quarter inches, I think? Um, it's probably something to that effect. Uh, just, yeah, yeah, just around two and a quarter inches tall. I believe that that's a pretty appropriate thing. Um, you know, not super articulated because the figure's so tiny, but, you know, universal shoulders and elbows and a head swivel. And she has a waist joint. I did not sacrifice that, so, you know, that's, uh, 
That's more than Tomy gave the infinite figure. Which, <laughs> you thought I was going to let that go, but I was not. Haha. <laughs> And, of course, she does match with the Sad AM styled Sonic figure that I made for Sad AM Fan FF before as well. So, all is well that ends well. <laughs> uh, so, Sad AM FF has one more figure coming. I'm also working on the other one for uh, Electrical Geek. I think that's what it was, Electrical Geek. And I got a Death Egg Robot that I'm still slowly making bit by bit because Death Egg Robots are hard. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This has been Wake Angel 2001, and I'm signing off.